MC up in the house. I mean, give me some more flowers too, man. My flowers done went out. My, my, my gongas went out. Let me take a picture of them yellow flowers he got. Flowers look more flowery than my flowers. Oh yeah, I got my spot right there, bruh. Oh yeah, your bruh finna do it up, for real though. I'm finna edge this yard up like it ain't no thing, you know what I'm saying? Cause I found my spot, my mind was messed up, right? My mind was messed up to the point where, hey look, I don't wanna waste that, right? In the past, I've always, you know, I, didn't, I don't like to waste stuff. I know I can't keep everything, but I don't like the waste stuff. It's like this, right? <clears throat> that grass I got, right? So I've been transplanting that grass to my backyard, you know, around my edges. You know, I go and cut my edges up. That's where I get my plugs from, right? Transplanted to the backyard. So I've done that for years and years, right? So now I just got my yard back and starting to shake back up. And then uh, I said, well, I got an edge. I said, that's a lot of good edges right there. What should I do? I can get to my neighbor or because my yard full in the front. And then I got it full in the back pretty much, right? Then he was like, oh, shoot, man. I don't know. I don't know. That's what Ray was saying. So I said, I'm gonna, I noticed the spot, but I hadn't really looked at the spot because that spot started to look like it's grown on. But I went down there and put my hands on the spot. I said, I'm going to put my hands on the spot. I'm going to uh, go and possess the land. Let me put my hands on the spot. So, oh, yeah, it looked like it was in good shape. You know, it's a decent grab, but it ain't the real stuff. This is my spot. So now I'm back energized because we always know, right, that uh, that procrastination, fear, and all that stuff that comes from, I know, from a lack of clarity. Yeah, ain't no clarity. But once that clarity comes, that boom, that energy come back. People trying to find stuff for more energy and stuff like that because they ain't got the clarity they're doing something they don't want to do. See what I'm saying? They ain't got the motives they ain't right. So they, don't, so they don't feel like it. But really, you just got to do it. Like last night, I ain't feel like exercising. For real, for real. But I say, no, man, I don't want to watch this. I, I got to watch the Star Trek. I got to watch it. I got to, hey. I'm sitting here. Here's the deal. Check this out, right? Here's the deal. I'm sitting here thumbing on TV, Hogan's Heroes. They got The Bachelor. They got all the crime dramas and stuff on. And I'm thumbing through the TV. That's just the unconscious part of me. Hold on. Let me hit you back. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, RC, up in the house. Come on, man. All right. We going through the thing now, baby. We doing it. Today is go for no Fridays, man. This is a, a addendum to what I was talking about this morning, right? Like I told you, I still been on my uh, what they call that, my my meditation. I got my meditation going on, but it's go for no Friday, so I've been going for some no's, right? I put it, I put it out to this a couple of customers. I went out and said, look, I'm gonna post this. I'm gonna post this out. Go for some no, I went for some uh, some yeses, got some no's. It just, you know, just been working through, you know. I, I think I had a productive day. They really, things ain't really popping off like I thought they was gonna pop off. Just a little small lull, but I, I, I can, uh, you know, with my job and stuff like that, but going on just sowing seeds just don't stop sowing seeds you know what i'm saying the seed time and harvest now when you're harvesting you, it's, it's hard to sow seeds while you're harvesting but while you're sowing it's hard to harvest you know it's always that that time so now right now that's why you want to kind of have you some seeds going all the time in multiple ways and then you got other people seeding for you that's the deal get the other folks out there working for you. See, you can't do it all by yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. You can't do it all by yourself. You're going to need some help. Ain't no doubt about that. Hey, but I, I kept calling on this thing. Now I got this lady coming in tomorrow to measure the wonders, which we 
we've been trying to get them out there to measure the wonders. Then I say, ah, oh, you know what? My son gonna be sleep, man. It's gonna be an inconvenience for him or something like that. Everybody, like, look, it's gonna be an inconvenience anyway. All the way down this way, it's gonna be an inconvenience. That's when they pull the windows out, it's an inconvenience. Everything you do is gonna be an inconvenience sooner or later. Now, if you don't want to be inconvenienced, then that's when stuff stack up, get busted up, because you keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, and then it creates a bigger inconvenience. See, that's the deal. I mean, you gotta pay the piper. And just like, hey, just like money, over time, it compounds. Compound interest, whatever, it compounds. Then you should have been over there. What in the world? Why well, you just can't speed up and get over? I forgot about right here. It's, it's the weekend. It's uh, 5 o'clock. You know, pray they make it to their destination safely in the name of Jesus. My wife working the world games these next three days. My son working at nights. Uh, my daughter heading out to, the, to Mexico. So pretty much, pretty much, I'm going to be there by myself, you know what I'm saying? So now I have to maximize that time. I'm going to take some time to change out some light switches for number one. Because I have to turn all the power off because I don't want to inconvenience nobody. You see what I'm saying? So I want to turn all the power out. I can do that. So I'm going to change some light switches out. That's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to go ahead and lay them things out. Have them things sitting on deck, ready to go. Then I can fix my ladder, get ready for my ladder to get fixed up. Ready for that. But then I want to look at that website tonight. I'm going to do that, but tonight, the pretty much the main thing I want to do tonight is to get, get home. I want to exercise again. I'm still trying to get my three times a week of exercise. Gonna catch up on my card, slip in my meditation, eat me a night. They ain't any good today, for real, for real. I know I did. And mostly cookies. I can't eat cookies all day. But I was planning on going somewhere, give me something. But no, I really just don't really like to eat out, man. I got these such rules made up. I really don't want to go get no Chick fil A, you know what I'm saying? Because I really not. Because I got the rules made up. I can just go get something just to get something to eat, right? I may just have to just say that, hey, I just want to get something to eat, but. I wasn't really feeling it, right? I wasn't really feeling it. So that's why I didn't go. You know, a lot of a lot of other folks went, but that's why I didn't go. I wasn't really feeling it, feeling it. You know what I'm saying? So, but I did, you know, touch base with some folks and some things I want to work on in my mind. I think I'm going to clean that bathroom up at night, too. I'm going to do a little cleaning as well, too. Get prepared for this. Uh, we 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 got to knock some tasks out. We got to stay working. We got to stay busy. But busy moving the needle on things that matter. You know what I'm saying? Things that matter. I got to get that home in tip top shape so that my wife, so a wife, that's that's you know, that's that's part of her psyche is that home, a nice home, tip top shape. So if she want to invite somebody over, it's nice and clean and looking good. Man, I don't like this inchworm type driving. It's like you, you speed up, you slow down, you speed up, you slow down. So I'm just going to try to keep me a nice pace some kind of way. I think this guy on his phone texting because now he's doing it. He weaving all across the road. So that's what it is. I'm behind this guy. I could probably pass this guy if I want to. But I'm not. Then I want to pump my boy Anthony O'Neill in. He said he talked to another guy that made a million dollars in one day. I'm not gonna let that be a distraction for me, man. I want to I want to chug along, but I, like I said, I want to be working on something that you know, three four years, man. I got another source of income. I want another source of income, some viable coming in. Because we expect the next couple of years it's going to be another economic upheaval, if not next year. So we want to be ready. I want to be ready. You know, I want to be ready. It's keeping my mind right. It's 
stand right here in the present. What can I do right now? What can I do right now in this here and now? I wrote it all out. So it's out. It's on the, it's on the books. I can go and look at it. Thumb through it to see how I'm doing. You know, so when I get to a point where I would normally sit down and and uh, watch Hogan's Heroes or something like that, or bust over another pack of cookies, something like that, I don't do that. I can just look at my list and say, oh yeah, I can be knocking this out. I can be knocking this out. Yeah, that's what I can do. Then I'm gonna see who else I wanna help. So y'all doing all this diving in, diving in and stuff like that, man. This is where it get hairy right up here. That's why I gotta stay focused, keep my eyes on the road, apparent obstacle vanish upon my approach. See, now they speed up. Still, I ain't gonna bite on it. I ain't gonna bite on it, baby. I'm gonna lay back. I'm gonna lay back. They got a little distance. I'm gonna get a little bit more distance. I see them up there. That's what they do. I still gotta pick myself out some, uh, some acrylic paint, too, and white. I think I'm gonna match the white that's already down there. Ain't nobody gonna be able to tell because all I did was trim it out in white. I really didn't paint a lot of stuff white. Oh, you know what? I probably already got some white paint. I just started thinking, I probably already got some white paint. I probably got five gallons down there. I got two five gallon jugs down there or something. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go look at that. I mean, stock, take inventory of what you got. Because a lot of times you already got what you need to do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking so. I may have five gallons of paint already down in there on the side. People are moving. They trying to get somewhere. I don't know where they trying to get. But they getting out of work. It's the weekend. It's Friday night. Just got paid. Party and hungry. Yeah, yeah. I wish I'm finna go and boil me some eggs, man. Give me a nice salad going, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be tight. Your boy finna do it up tonight. I'm finna do it up. I, Cause it's clarity, you know, I got it all laid out. I'm gonna be busy working on some good stuff. I'm gonna be working on some good stuff, yeah. That's you know what I'm talking about. You got to. And then I wanna get in, you know, I want to get in on some other stuff too, man. You know, I want to help my son out and stuff, my dog. But I think, first of all, man, I gotta continue to help myself, man. I gotta get myself to a, to, a, to, a, to a point, to a point where it's built, right? Something gotta get built. My daughter working on her website. She getting it up and running, man. She she out at one hundred percent. She was telling me the other night. She said, look. I'm finna go on this cruise, man, but then I'm gonna be on this cruise ship. Man, I, don't, I kinda don't wanna, I, don't, I may not get nothing done. I said, when they gotta get me on the ship? She said, yeah, but that's like $15 a day, $20 a day or something like that. It may cost me uh, 60 bucks. We're gonna be there four days. Yeah, that's $60. I said, yeah, that's $60. She said, yeah, I could just come and pay this $60. I said, yeah, that's what you wanna do. And now you're in a different part of the world. You're in a different area. You got different images going, different people. Now you need to take advantage of that creative energy in that area. So you want to be working on that. Because then you'll be able to tap in to something else you can't tap in here. Yeah. That's the beauty of this thing. You know what I'm saying? Like my sister said, we're in a different part of the universe. We're in a different part of the galaxy. It's different energy right here. It's different energy. It's like this uh, Star Trek episode I call it. They call it the Nexus. It's like this ribbon of energy. And then once you get in the Nexus, if the Nexus pick you up, then you can travel anywhere in time. All your, your dreams and your desires are manifested. Just living in total bliss. Anything you want to do, you can do it. Because you're in the Nexus. And that was the deal. People was I wanted to get in there. So he was, but you can't just drive into it because you'll die. It's got to pick you up off the planet. 
off. It's got to pick you up. You just can't go into it. That was the name of the game. You know, just, just look at Thank you. Pop it and lock it. Look at Thank you. Pop it and lock it. Look at Thank you. Pop it and lock it. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I got I to gotta post my other video. I'm gonna post a video too. I gotta shoot another video on me adding these ladder things to my stand and fixing my ladder, drill some holes in that. I ain't gonna get too far down the road on that, you know what I'm saying? As I start looking at all them steps in there, I start thinking about them cookies. You know what I'm saying? That's how I go. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put my boy Anthony O'Neill up in this joint. See what he talking about. Then I may change my little thing up there. Thank you.